Two worrying developments arise in the pursuit of the Red Sox general manager. The Red Sox must hit that hiring or risk continuing to fall towards irrelevance. Welcome Red Sox fans, subscribe to the channel to receive the latest Red Sox news. Help us reach the thousand subscribers so that our channel arrives for more people I count on all of you. The Red Sox plans to conduct a more exhaustive search for Heim Bloom's replacement than they did for Bloom, the only candidate they interviewed four years ago. That means they may not have anyone in charge before GM meetings next month in Arizona, which is less than ideal. Or it is entirely possible that they have already identified their main candidate and they know that the process cannot resolve until after the playoffs, in which case it is wise to say that you will wait. If they hire someone quickly or deliberately, they need to make that decision or risk continuing their slide toward irrelevance. And in that context, Red Sox CEO Sam Kennedy made some troubling comments on Monday that played the wrong chord. The first came in response to a question about how to improve not only the staff record, but their entertainment value. Fans watch at NESN and Phil Fenway Park for fun, and that's not easy when you're starting an opener, which eliminates the magic of the first pitch or the need to get to the park on time. Nothing against Brennan Bernardino, but he's not Roger Clemens, Pedro Martinez, or John Lester. Similarly, here is hoping that we will never have to watch another season with 15 second base players and 12 center forwards, numbers that I exaggerated, but not by much. Constant platoons and players shuffling around the diamond create an amorphous product that is difficult to identify as a fan. But instead of recognizing the dull entertainment value of the last two, entertaining baseball is winning baseball, he said. I don't care what anybody says. You can say that you need to play a different brand of baseball. You need to do this. You need to do that. We've got to win. If you win, somehow magically people say, this team's likable, or... This team's entertaining. I think that's nonsense. Winning baseball is what matters. That's what entertains people. We know that. Winning cures some things, but it doesn't cure everything. Otherwise, the Rays would sell out every game, even in their miserable Florida Dome. But that was only half the problem. The other issue came when Kennedy was pressed on the desirability of the top job and the perception that ownership has made the role unstable with a shelf life of only four years. Kennedy bristled at the notion and then laid down the law. This is the Boston Red Sox, he said. If you want to run a baseball organization, this is where you want to be. You want to be in Boston. Why? Because it matters here more than anywhere else. So, if you're not up for that challenge, Thanks, but no thanks. That sounds fiery and defiant, but is it good business? The Red Sox have a perception problem, and the job no longer sells itself. Beyond the lack of security for the last three heads of baseball operations, you're also looking up at everyone else in baseball's strongest division, with no clear indication that ownership plans to spend again. Let's not forget that some very good candidates removed themselves from consideration before the search even began the last time around, including Cleveland's Chris Antonetti, Arizona's Mike Hazen, and Minnesota's Derek Falvey. If ownership wants to take an EFFU we're the Red Sox posture rather than considering why these qualified executives wouldn't even consider an interview, they're doing themselves a disservice and potentially missing out on a savior. And that would be a shame, because on this point, Kennedy is right. Nowhere is building a winner sweeter than Boston. Fan of the Red Sox, you think the search for the manager is at the end? Leave your like and your opinion in the comments and share our videos. Subscribe to the channel TO receive the latest Red Sox news. Help US reach the thousand subscribers so that our channel arrives for more people I count on all of you.